Welcome back to Wildermyth. This is your favorite channel, Big Pimple Poppers, where we pop <laughs> big pimples. You know, there's, there is actually, like, a lot of channels like that. I know. Exclusive pimple popping channels with ASMR and... Yeah, so we're going to be popping off some pimples here um, uh, in Wildermyth. And the pimples are gorgons, and uh, <laughs> you came here because you were actually looking for pimples to pop. I'm really sorry. We really messed up the search engine visibility of this video Yo. and that really ruined your evening no the big pimple is the channel and the pus is the content that metaphor maps but you should not be proud of it and we're making a bridge i made a bridge this is a bridge over there that was in progress but we're making the bridge over here instead bridge it up Gura can continue making the bridge. I don't care. Let's uh, let's let it. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Let the world, let the world burn. Yeah, this is just like uh, you know, this is social commentary in my wildermyth that uh, we're slowly letting the mounting problems of the world just kind of build up without taking care of any of it, and eventually it will just hurt uh, general society and the people in the lowest class possible. Certainly not right, the villagers. <laughs> Certainly not the not the warriors who have amassed a great amount of wealth and armor and uh, weapons, so they can best defend themselves. No, it would be the one the villagers uh, with pitchforks and uh, torch, single torch, all they could afford. <laughs> The rain hasn't let up much through the winter. The earth is soggy and stinking like a corpse. Hills have sunk and dead mice float in flooded fields. People are moving towards the mountains. Going by Arnon's map, we're nearly there. I'll be brave, will you? Oh, is that, I need to read along with you as the reader. Now is when we find out whether we've been too trusting. I've heard it said that to cut a noose is to gain a dangerous friend. Uh, the Gorgons are swarming these days, choking us, drowning us. Uh, this whole world is near its limit. Any chance may be the only chance. <laughs> it just to me looked like the, 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 the I, I can't, I don't even know what it, someone's going to tell me in the comments, I'm sure. The, the creature from World of Warcraft, the Murgoth or whatever. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Well, 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 whatever. So we got three raccoons, two bogmores, a gorgon, double rose, and a geist. The geist geist is right up on our on our grill. Luckily, they are only oh, mall. Geez. Yeah, I think get um get Santa up there with a ready attack to be to define our front line. Yep, and Lorenia too. We can get a double guardian off here. Yeah. All right. uh, shred them with their with your war star there. All right. More like um, best star. War star is gonna go. That's a nice compliment. Thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go there. Yeah. Shred that armor. Uh, Conwit is gonna go. Um, this is gonna be one of those situations where I don't get to see the double guardian go pop off, because you're gonna <laughs> wear them down. Okay. I'll see if Yormuth can do something that doesn't finish off, because it would be nice for you to be able to, uh... I just want to see the double guardian pop off. It's not going to now, still, because the first guardian is for sure going to kill it. Unless it misses. You should uh, you should kill it with Yormuth, uh, if you can. Yormuth is going to wait. I want to see some, uh... Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, Yormuth should have, um... No, we have the double guardian. That's why... I'm sorry, Yarmouth should have interfused at the very least. I, I decided not to in case we are battle line. Yeah, I mean, was... you gotta interfuse. I don't know why. I would... But uh, here, move, move the battle line up. A... Oh, no, you don't want to go into corruption. Yeah, let's just hold here. They'll come to us. We'll, uh... Actually, the Bogmores will start sucking us out, but that's... Um, yeah, they have they have range. In fact, everything has range except for the row. How can you tell? If you hover over them, first of all, we've been fighting raccoons for like months now. Oh yeah, oh, the raccoons I get. Um, but the bogmores the, have range. Just from, are you just doing that from memory? Like that's no, you hover over them and it, they show you a, a little card. Oh, 
Um, mine doesn't do that as a default. You have to like right click that on. Oh. All right. Um, I'm going to constrict some raccoons. That's bring them into your attack range. We need a. You know what? We need a. We need a good old classic, uh, best star piercing thing. No. Nope. <laughs> hey, nice. Who's got? Oh yeah, watch this. Lorenya, who's who's War Star's um, rival? I don't know. Well, Lorenya and Santa can um, hold uh, hold the line for a bit or whatever. They they need to actually say I their actions. So I actually think that's a, not a good idea, and I'll, I'll tell you why. I feel like it would be a better idea for me to to actually stand in corruption and kill that Bogmore. Because they're uh, both. You don't, you don't have you don't have to stand in corruption to kill it. You can stand out of corruption and kill it because you have a spear. Can I? Can you go one more step? Um, no, Does not not at the diagonal. You could have done one more forward and done it. No, I can't, because that's her range. Uh, okay. I see. There's no way, if, like, it won't let me do a proper thing, so... Okay, yeah, yeah. Then, then uh, how, whatever you feel most comfortable. With. I'm going to corrupt it up. Um, it won't do too much damage, and it's better to get rid of a body that's going to be doing more damage than the corruption ever would. Yeah, I agree. And you've got, a uh, now you've got untouchable up. Um... And now I can, um... Get Lorenia right, yeah. next to her. She'll get a um, a thing, and guardian. Yeah. yeah, there you go. One damage. It's fine. What what is it? What what the row doing? <laughs> oh my hey, god. Post activated. Nice. Oh guardian. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. No. Oh nice. You, yeah. That's really good. Okay. Um, right. A little bit worried about a lot of the stuff going on down here. No, I think let's hold. Let's hold the battle line. Oh, I guess we have no one charging in. There's like, no. There's the no battle really, line because yeah. they're all ranged. We all right. we have okay. to be the battle line. All right. All right. Uh, I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna come down here and slap some bogmores. Cool. Do Slapping I get a cleave? Is, Yo, uh, cleave. Solid. Yeah. Tear it up. Um, I yeah. don't think I can even scratch the Gorgon with Lorenya, so I might be better off trying to kill a raccoon. I'm going to kill the little raccoon um, that's already hurt. It's your list. Okay. Um, Conwit is going to... No, Warstar is going to try and get the big Gorgon. Um, yeah, just shredding the armor would be the best. Yeah. Oh, I keep forgetting I've got a through shot if I can ever line one up. Nope. All right, and then Conwit is going to go even closer. Get own Maybe shot a silk in. step? Oh, no, never mind. Oh, its damage is real bad. i got to get her a better crossbow. She's really good at the spear, but... Oof. Oh, nice. Yeah. Untouchable, right? Oh my... Yeah. Oh, yeah. no! This is why Riposte is so good, because you get counterattacks whenever someone... This is amazing. All right, so let's let's murder that dude, <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll probably unveil some other gorgons in the north. Let's turn that raccoon into a corrupted pelt. Yeah, do it. Can any of the melee fighters get there, or do I do this with the range? You go for range because no, no, none of them can reach. Okay. Um, let's see what your myth can do. I'll bring him forward just in case we miss with everyone. Yeah. Interfuse. What do I got here? Shark trap, chardonnay down. Again, I should not have control over Conwit. Nice! Yeah! Did you see that? Yeah. You gotta remember that. That old maneuver. Oh, did you move the raccoon with your yeah. ability? Oh, nice. All right, so we have a lot of people with hands full, but Conwit, Warstar, or... No, that's it. Um, oh, yeah, Gura has a throwing net, but also she hasn't been in combat in forever. Um, I think Warstar will do it, because I can do um, I can fire through people, shred, and give them poison, and that would be really cool. Yeah, that sounds good. All righty. I don't mind if Warstar becomes the carry, honestly. Warstar and Sana have been pretty top-notch. So, Conwit can get some fire damage, can get some inspiration, which is cool. 
Ambush I love as an ability, but I, I'm trying to make her a melee person, so I'm going to upgrade Thorn Thing. Sounds good. She inspiration wouldn't have been bad. Got my back, may not be done fighting. Uh, Arnon emerges rather suddenly from a damp shadow, standing before a root framed tunnel. Uh, so right. you made it. Solid. That's his voice now. Yeah. <laughs> you doubted we would? The old deepest leads them into the dark. The earth walls are slimy and black. Streams of water slosh on either side of a hastily heaped gravel path. Clods plop from the ceiling. Support beams have clearly been rushed into place. Don't take any offward tunnel. They've been falling in. Yo, that's pretty solid. Um, I'm down for for them. Uh, deeper in, earth, earth walls give way to granite. The warren rots. The flowing water follows uh, carven tunnels, sorry, carven channels away from the main tunnel to some dark end. Will you abandon this place? Mm. Oh, no, we can't. Do you want breakfast? Yo, what does the deepest want uh, have for breakfast? What? I don't oh, know. I, I was setting up a joke. No, I was asking. <laughs> What does the deepest have eat for breakfast? Um. <laughs> I, do they eat? I thought they were like undeady. I, I you know what? I'm gonna go with waffles because Solid. it's the it's the only it's a food good I, choice for anyone really. Really, because it's the only food I can think of that has deep pockets. Ah, uh, solid, solid choice. There you go. It's mid-afternoon. Ah, uh, but we're not chained to the sun cycle. We have breakfast whenever. You know, I feel like uh, if if Cobnock was with us, you know what he'd say? Time I for pie. I think I know what he'd say. He'd say it's time, indeed. It's time for, for pie. pie. Yeah. Arnon shows the way inside a marked passage. A weird smell beckons them through to the other side. Whoa. That's some breakfast you got going on there. <laughs> Here they are, dear. The badger and the ranger and more to follow. Uh, here, I'll... <laughs> Where did you... Oh, sorry. No, you got it. You got it. No, no, you... You've... There's no way I can compete with that. You go ahead. What did you offer them, Graham? <laughs> Sure I did. No one wants lukewarm, chewy old grum, I keep saying. Uh, I, I'll admit, it doesn't seem too bad down here. Imagine it crowded. Oh, hi, adventurers. This is some drunk I know. <laughs> yes, I'm Velda. <laughs> it said I was born in the basin of a dried caldera. To spirits of the salt and rock. Does get said a lot, but not actually true. This is very quickly turning into some Terry Gilliam movie. <laughs> yeah. Right, it technically is false. You two are married to each other? We're mostly married. In times of strife, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Uh, All this is fascinating, of course, but it's not what we're here to learn. This ranger is tracking truth, I see. You came because you must defeat the Gorgons, is that right? We were told you knew how. I know what the Gorgons did. Their leader. I learned of him. All oh, Strix. Uh, Arnon tucks into a bowl of beige mush. That's what that's what deepest eat for breakfast. Beige mush. Beige mush. Grum. Grum. That's it. Rhymes with yum. <laughs> it does rhyme with yum. <laughs> Looks like shroomy gruel with some kind of green gold dressing. That's ranch. Oh, stretch. That's three yeah. cheese ranch if ever I. <laughs> yeah, or it's just like rock mold from this flooded cavern. That's what that's that's the blue cheese ranch. 
Oh yeah, that's true. The blue cheese ranch sounds like an actual ranch you'd go to, and that's where they make blue cheese. Yeah. We know that name well enough. Blue Cheese Ranch. Yes, Lostrix raised a great number of his brethren. And they went to the valley of God Beast Molotona. That's where that's where Cobnock is now. And at that great god beast They made Pewter the Great Moatona. Uh, Velda gazes on all attending from beneath the massive horns adorning her face. A scowl twists her already crooked features. Arnon finishes his meal, pulls at his beard, and wipes it on his cowl. <coughs> Who? Moatona. Uh, Moatona is an ancient one, a keeper of balance. The unassailable balance of Moatona keeps our opposing forces of this world in harmony. And because Moatona's dead, that throws off the weather. And the seas and the peaks. Did we kill Moatona? No, I think they turned Moatona into pewter. Oh. All will turn into big blue gorgon soup. Yo, that's the blue cheese soup. Blue cheese soup. Blue cheese soup. Us the carrots and beans. And you, the onions. So that's why Elstrix needed his army to slay a god. Well, what was the point of that spear we bled over? Wasn't that, Wasn't that supposed, supposed to be... To be... Go, ahead. You go ahead. Wasn't that supposed to be the symbol he needed to unite whatever gorgons behind his crusade? What matters is this? Moatona cannot die. She's petrified. The reason I called you here is that I've been hoarding a certain restorative spirit distilled from the roots of the extinct bullflax flower. I call it... Root Beer. <gasps> a medicine? My Root Beer should be able to restore the great Moatona. If you can get it to her. My brewing goddess, Velda. Well, assuming that's all true, why us? Why don't you have your own lackeys? The deep down, some of it is... We're afraid. So our people are made frail? Water's the worst doom. <laughs> the Gorgon leader is strong and fearless, so too are his hordes. We are too old. Slow. I'm scared to die. <laughs> the Gorgons aren't going to let us do this thing, are they? And do we know where to go? And are we sure reviving this god beast will fix everything? The Patrick grows quite asky. But I'll answer all your questions. <laughs> I have so Over many questions. Breakfast. I'm still hungry. It's salty warm. What is salty warm? I don't know if it's the name of the breakfast or if it's like a description of like, it happens to be salty and warm. Those are its best qualities that we can recommend it with. Two things can be true. <laughs> yeah, it could be both. Velda is true to her word, and as Arnon serves up bowls of grum, she draws a serviceable map upon the wall in pale chalk. The food is surprisingly good. Oh, Lastly, what of it, narrator? You, did, you didn't uh, have any faith in Velda's cooking? I mean, when you think about it, the fate of the world relies on Velda's cooking right now. That's true. This is, this is the most important meal of the day, and it's going to send our party off uh, to victory, hopefully. But also the root beer. <laughs> but also the root beer. But also the root beer. If it's not good, then, then this whole yeah. thing is wasted. Yeah. Lastly, Vilda hands over her healing ale, a single-sealed earthenware bottle. Soon they're on their way again. They carry the hope of all the land and its creatures in one fragile bottle. Oops. 
I was thirsty. Oh, gee. Triple row. All Winner, right. Kenya. Okay, so. Um, Ooh, confront Alstrix. So do you want to? So a tile's gonna flood in thirty-seven days, um, which means you could lose some resources uh, from one of our existing things. Is oh, Baron Grizzle's Grizzletop. Let's let's go liberate that. Okay. It's on the way back, and um, uh, it'll get us a tile back, so it'll kind of even out. So am I wrong? Can we like make moves to like finish the game? Yeah, I think that thing on the far west of the map, Slippy Wick Altar, uh, Slippy Wick Altar, is where we end the game. Dang. Also, I'm pretty sure Slippy Wick is where Cobnock is. No, he's uh, up north. Slippy Wick is like southwest. No, metaphorically speaking. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah. The Ancestor Grove is a gathering place. It's held significance among us Highlanders for six generations at least. It's up this way. See how the path deepens? I'll stand by you. My spear is solid. <laughs> yeah? Tell me more about your spear. Hey, Mormoth. Maybe slow up? I mean, the other's still uh, a little off path. This body's rugged as it looks. Tell me more about your body, my, my good lad. <laughs> he wants to fight next to us. Don't know that we should refuse, I guess. And you know, my husband Furhand breads our table. Down this path, I hack away the butter, the bitter burrs. By evening, let's bring a good man some good news. For a moment, even the wind goes mute. Don't take this wrong, but having you along seems riskier for us. Bring him along for this fight. I don't care, sure. Yeah, let's bring him. We need a little Stuart. bit of uh, representation in our party, you know? <laughs> Listen, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just saying, we, we could do with a no, bit of you're variety. Right, you're right, Yeah, we don't have anyone, um, we don't have any men with long hair. We have no so. one with pauldrons. We have several people with pauldrons. <laughs> no, they all have cloaks. No, I guess, okay, Sa Linnea. Santa, Santa has San pauldrons. No, Santa, Santa has horned things. Okay, whatever. Kind of all right, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Stop it. Stay sharp now. I love how you were trying to do a bit of improv, and I could have said yes and, and instead I'm like, no, here are some facts that you have violated. <laughs> here. That's the premise of all good improv, is having a fact, a live fact checker interrupt every joke. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, that's not actually a giant fork. What? <laughs> sir, this isn't a shop, it's an empty stage. Oh. Uh, well, as long as I'm here, I can eat my breakfast. Time for pie. <laughs> Time for pie. Sam Roan. His name is Sam Roan. I dibs on Sam Roan. Cool. There's Conway. Hey, slow down. Who's that guy? We pick up a wildman? We picked up another B side. This is you again. Uh, is Warstar close behind you? And Lorenya? This is Sam. Santa went and said he could come along. Uh, it was Sam thinking. I'm San Rome. Sorry, San. His name is San Rome now. Okay. En enemy of all reeds. <laughs> I wonder if I used to make that kind of impression on people. What? Because you are new to the planet, so together they go to a beckoning battle. Sam Rome. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, the Staggeron. I've never fought a Staggeron before. Staggeron, Gorgon, Geist, Bogmore, Rager, Bartoth. We have them all. We The bingo we, sheet is complete. We did it. <laughs> we did we're it. It's awful. We're the, I'm the Gorgon master. Oh, Fire Spirit. Okay, we may, be, we may not want to chase it. Whoever chases that will probably die. Yarmoth, that, go. Yarmoth, this that, is your time to shine. Go get it, Yarmoth. Actually, I might. Conway could probably do it. Conway's no, very no, no, fast. No, 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 no. Conway is Warstar's daughter. She cannot die. Yormoth, go. You do not have a spirit weapon. Go. He does. He does. Hold on. Wait, what? Gear. Con so, Conway could use a um her her uh, a crossbow could be turned into a leaf one, which is great because that would help her uh, get temporary hit points, which are helpful in battle. Um, and so if the warriors can move forward, engage the foes to the southeast. 
I think I can do this. Yeah, I mean, like, the foes to the southeast are really the, the least of our problems. Okay. You go ahead, miss. but I guarantee you're going to reveal an entire mess of a, a pie disaster. Well, there it is. Uh, Oof. Oh, I wonder, oh I wonder if I called that at all. Oh, shoot. Checks notes. I, w I wish there had been some kind of uh, warning, warning sign. Time to go save Conwit. I wish her name had uh, significance to her. <laughs> it's really funny because the name of um, uh, her crossbow, the randomly assigned name, is the Red Cross, which is she's going to need some medical attention <laughs> in a moment. Um, can we send one fighter up that way? And I'm going to send some other support to, like, uh, hamper some of the people coming, coming at Conwit. Yeah. So Yarmouth is going there. Going to interfuse with... The rock pile. I think I'm gonna have Lorena come and, and try and fight some of these, this rager. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna have uh, War Star is gonna go defend his daughter. Oh, I should have had Sa Santa has cleave. Shoot. Santa could have killed both these lads. No, never mind. She has terrible speed. So I think um, hey. I'm going to run her right next to Conwit. So she gives her the protection and then possibly... Hey, killed the Bartoth. Yo. Yo. You done it. You done did it. Sam. Sam, my my favorite companion uh, since five minutes ago. Um, what can you do? <laughs> Yo, what? thanks for having uh, Conwit's back, Santa. I appreciate it. All right, um, Sam, you're going to back up Lorenya. Cool. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, they can come through the building. I didn't realize they can come through the building. That's not a big deal. Oh, God. Oh, Wait. no. He's trampling everything. Call of the Stag Lord. Here come stags. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, well, we know where the battle is coming from. Uh. Oh. You know what? You know what? This is a Hold great on. opportunity. War Star, War Star is going to... How does he do poison again? Swap weapon. Swap Apply weapon. poison. Oh, I can only poison my um, dagger. Okay. War, uh, Sam, you're going to take care of this raccoon. This raccoon is now your job. Oh my god, he actually can. Sam is not worthless. Lorenya. Lorenya, you're going to go and take on the Staggeron. Okay, yeah, and hold on. Let let um let Warstar do a through a through shot and like poison and uh pierce a bunch of people. Of course. Go do it. Um okay, I'm going to see if I can move to line up a bit, an even better shot. Um Yeah, let's do that. Oh, this is this map is dicey. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh it's kind of a shame it didn't kill that row, but I'll take it. Um, I think York Yormouth might be able to help out with so, some row killing. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> actually, leave leave that row, um, the poison one, to Santa, because I can cleave it and then do a bunch of damage to this Stagron. Okay, yeah, then actually, why don't you go ahead and, and do your move? Uh, Conwit also can do a bunch of, like, finishing things off and then getting her attacks back for free. Okay. So let me go here. Nice. And she got temporary hit points for that too. Excellent. Alright. Yeah. Um I'm gonna have Lorena maybe take out that last Dagron. Or I can go up and take a take out the other one that's blocking the Bogmore. Or I could block the Bogmore. Oh no, the Bogmore is ranged. You can reach everyone, I think. Oh yeah. That's true. Start a fire on an empty tile. Oh, that's an idea. Ah, shit. Okay, I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna start a fire as a free action. Yeah. Um. Does this hurt even if they move through it? I'm thinking yeah. I might start another fire. Yeah. I would have started it. Oh, yeah, that's an empty tile? Yeah. Okay. Darn yeah. Yeah. I, 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 
Listen, I'm, I'm fully on board for starting fires on spaces where creatures are. I'm, I'm pro arson, Peter, is what I'm saying. Yes. Con I think Conwit's gonna have to do some backing up soon. Mm, she's okay. Yeah. Uh, nope, she's fine. Have more faith in your daughter, Peter. All right, Warstar is gonna do some. Let uh, Warstar do some more armor shredding. Well, that's oh. that's not armor. Oh, I guess he has like one shield. Okay, yeah. Hey, and you got your action back, I think, because of the uh, you're stunted. Mill. Yeah. It's Miller time. There's um, absolutely no reason I should have said that. Conway is going to get a free kill on the row. And then get an action back. And then hit the Gorgon after Warstar will. Oh, no, I'm in. No, that's fine. Whatever. Yeah, hit hit that. No, no, no. you want to hit the oh, Gorgon. Oh, I can't. Right? He's, how do I undo? Hold on. There you go. Undoing. Okay. Yeah. Hit that. Hit that Gorgon. Yeah, shred it. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Okay, let's just connect this little tetramino of partier adventures. Hold on. Conway is gonna get a shot off at the. Uh... Nope. Yeah. Yarmouth is gonna discus it. No. Nope. Dang it! It it's like unhittable. <laughs> oh, I should have moved uh, Conway out of the corruption. She's really. It's all good. Lorenia is an absolute ba. Go through the fire. Yes. What did he do? He tongued uh, Santa, but she blocked it. All right, time to murder. No need to do an arrow, it's a 100% kill. Sweet. That's my nickname now, 100% kill. <laughs> Alright, Comet's gonna back up and just let everyone else handle this last bit. Um, Warstar is gonna move somewhere that he can get a shot off. Go for it, try and kill that last thing. Yes. Yeah. Victory. Yormoth leveling up. Yeah. Seems like a long time. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, Repost is not something I mentioned for him. Um, naturalist. Vine wrench. Upon refusing with the tree, enter the gray plane. That's cool. Then active tree call. Um, Feel free to reroll these upgrade, also. Upgrade humanist. Stunning barrage. 100% stun chance on hit. Oh, I like that. Shackles does double damage. Tornado does not dissipate over time. Sharknado. Um, yeah. Let's do it. Ooh. A tier two spear. Okay, so Can I can I put forward um Sam on this one? Wait, Sam isn't even an option. Why that why Yeah, because he's not in our, he's not in our party. What? He's just a he's an NPC for like this particular scene. Lame. So everyone already has a spear. So Gura could use it as instead of a mace for her tier two, um, as her melee. She's going to retire at the end of this chapter. Uh, Warstar could use it to have a better melee option when he ends up in melee. It's redundant for Lorenia. Um, and uh, Yormus could use it as his melee weapon instead of the staff. Uh, give it to Warstar, I think. Okay. It's just better all around. He's never going to use it ever, but... You never know. We, could, we should have salvaged it, to be honest. Yeah, probably, actually. The cottage in the grove it watches goes silent. Sam, you hold that spear pretty solid. <laughs> oh my god, why? <laughs> Yuff, closer than I thought it'd be. At least it turned out today. Uh, it turned out okay. Uh, I should be home for dinner. The Go ahead. The hike proves long. Night will reach them before they reach the door. Sam's chilled expression gradually warms, but his eyes tend lower. Here, down here, I've battled back the bitter burners, you see? In a comfortable cleft, the wood house glows. Inside is a happy hall. These folks and me, we saved our great highlands today, even got back the grove. He did get a kill, so, you know, purple, purple yeah. heart. There you go. The stove smoke smells like the best nights of home. 
And uh, oh, I only wish you'd seen it. Zephyr, quick! I ran through. Swisher, swift! I pierced another. Yeah, see that face your husband's making? That's how we all feel. Solid. A humble feast happens there, and a trading of life tales. Yormuth can tell a story. Even if he makes it dark, it comes out funny. So night takes its time to dwindle. Bits of the meal are picked over, dregs and cups are drained. And in the quiet that comes over them, Furhand, Sam's husband, clears his throat. Uh... I hope I'm okay saying this. I'm going to say it. It's all a lot of... I understand what you do, all of you. It's a sacrifice you make that I don't think probably no one ever fully repays, right? I know that's it's, that it's selfish. I'm proud of you, Sam, my hero, my hero husband. I am thankful, and I know that you deserve whatever chance you want, but I'm not sure if I can... Uh, Verhan, I'm not joining them. You're not? No, beautiful one. I wanted to say, let's give him uh, my granddad's old weapon. Yo, but uh, I'm not using that thing. I'm a married man. I'll fetch it down. We're really, uh, we're, we're, we're going for it. We're doing it. Yeah, give me that spear. <laughs> Hand me that dagger. It's, it's you. No, oh. you're doing both the, both the... I wasn't doing narration. The gift Sam and Furhan will oh, give them is a rare piece with a history of its own. Ah, Sam. Summer will come and life in this hilly place will once more turn towards happiness. Oh, Sam. Frodo. Frodo, do you remember the strawberries, Frodo? Sam. Sorry. Tier 2 artifact, Queen Axe. Yeah, bonus damage to single tile enemies and plus one stunt damage. Salvage! <laughs> um, so, I mean, it could retire with Gura. That'd be a, still a good a good secondary weapon for her. Um, it's only slightly well, right. better than what she's using. It's a downgrade um, for, like, a lot of people. Well, as their melee weapon, yeah. Um, but, uh, so it's an upgrade for... War Star, if we just got a weapon. Um, it's a straight upgrade for Yormuth, who doesn't have a good melee option. Um, uh, actually, hold on. What is... Uh, what is Conwit's thing? Oh, it's a downgrade for Conwit. Um, I think it should go to Gura or Yormuth. Uh, well, Gura, because I want Yormuth to be shortchanged at every turn. Perfect. Let's do Gura. Solid. She retires with a weapon that she'll probably never use even once. And it's fitting that, like, Gura, who is, um... Uh, Kobnok's closest friend, is the one spiting his, uh, protege. Excellent. Ooh, that's a nastier-looking bear. Oh, man. I think we should go fight Elstrix. Yeah, let's do it. In the next um, episode. Hey, if you enjoyed just... this, go ahead and hit that like button, and that subscribe button is probably calling your name as well. Yeah, subscribe to Big Pimple Poppers. Big Pimple Poppers. it's always popping off with some new pimple. And the pus is the content. <laughs> and the pus is the content. That's the catchphrase. <laughs> that and life is pimples. Life it, is pimples. pimples. <laughs> <laughs>